All right, mate, this should be a pretty quick one. This is all about better view management or better view creation, a little tool that will help you out here. And to be fair, this is pretty good. It should be pretty quick as well, because it's pretty simple. Uh, but once you're in Inventor, go to Tools, click this button here, Autodesk App Manager, that you've probably never clicked before, and then click this little link here to go to the App Store that you've probably never been to before. And it should launch your website, and you end up in the Autodesk App Store. Who knew Autodesk had an app store? I mean, I did. It's been around for years, but I wouldn't want to call it a failure. But ask yourself the question, did you know it was there? If the answer is no, then I, you know, it's a candidate for being a bit of a flop. But uh, there's not a lot here. But either way, once you get to the search apps bit, type in S-Y-M-E-T-R-I. Symmetry. It's the company I used to work for. It's the CAD supplier I had uh, eight years with, and uh, I'm very fond of them. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for these lot. So it's a legit company. You can Google them if you're not keen on installing stuff from companies that you've never heard of before, but uh, they're absolutely legit. Click Quick Views, click Download, install it. Once it's installed, then you want to reboot Inventor, and then once you go back into the App Manager, you should see Quick Views listed here and uh, you're good to go with it mate right and then now uh, we're going to go into a new drawing environment once you're in a new drawing you should see the quick views button at the top right so what this does is uh, once you've dropped in a view of an let's let's drop in a view of an assembly so i'm going to select a thruster which is a bit of a, a bit of a nice looking assembly with a few bits and pieces inside it let's flip it around so we're looking front on and uh, no no not that many flips right there we go so we'll drop them in there and uh, what a lot of people tend to do, God, Inventor's so infuriating when I move stuff. Why, why do I have to get exactly the red dots made? Why? What is. Never mind. We'll look past that. Uh, what people do is once they've placed an assembly view onto a drawn sheet, is they'll create additional views of the piece parts that are in the assembly, additional detail views around the sheet. And you can do it. You've just got to go back into base view and then browse. For the other bits and then place separate views which is doable it's just a pain in the backside mate isn't it so with quick views this is really it's really simple to be fair this is really good it's such a simple concept but it's really good select the quick views button and it'll call up the not the parts list but the model tree of the main base view on your drawn sheet and it'll just give you a list of all the parts and assemblies in here and you can just say right well i want to create a detailed view of say this part here sometimes you won't get a preview it depends whether inventors thumbnail things work and sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but you'll know what your part numbers and your file names are so chances are you don't need the thumbnail but select the part click add view and it just drops it in there. it's just as simple as that then you've got the full view creation thing here you can move the view around if you want to change the scale do all your bits and pieces click ok and there's your view mate easy as that it's really fair to them that's awesome uh, it's free. It's free. You can download it, keep it for as long as you want, and uh, they'll probably update it, I would imagine, for all future versions of Inventor. And you just keep doing it, mate. You just keep knocking views down. Say, I want to create a view of... You wouldn't create a view of that. Uh, it doesn't... I mean, oh, come on. These are nuts and bolts. Give me something I can create a view of. That. And then there it is there. You can move it around, change the view properties, click OK, and there you go. Quick views, mate. Couldn't be. It doesn't get any quicker than that. Fair play to symmetry, that's a pretty awesome add-in. And it works really well. So it's just creating additional base views. And uh, it's all done through this pretty nice looking UI. Uh, you get the file name, you get the description. It tells you how many views you've created of each part. Thumbnail down the bottom, simple as that. Uh, there's a couple of other buttons in here. Update parts list and help. But I haven't looked at what that does. And to be honest, I'm that, that, yeah, yeah, maybe it does something useful. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm all about making those quick views though. So that's pretty good. Well done at Symmetry for that. Go to the App Store that uh, you might not have known was there. Get it downloaded and it uh, should appear in there and you're good to go, mate. You can keep it up to date by clicking that. This is not an App Store tutorial, so I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyway, there you are, mate. Thank you very much. If you like the video, click like. Uh, go on over to Symmetry. Download the add-in if you want to. Uh, go to their website. Check them out. They're a CAD supplier in, in Europe now. They used to just be in the UK. I don't, what, what waffling on it? Anyway, like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I've got a couple of other drawn videos on the way through. Depending on when you're watching this, they might already be up. But yeah, mate. Thank you. I'll see you next one. Toodles.